I can keep staring at this, but I won't get any closer. Something I can help you with? Yes. Possibly. You recall the demon at Serenfall? The one impersonating Lord Seeker Lucius? We never found the real Lord Seeker. Or his body. Indeed, I've seen no hint of any Seekers amongst the Red Templars. Or anywhere. I have a growing suspicion Corythius has imprisoned them. Why imprisoned? He could just as easily have killed them. Not easily. But yes, they may be dead. Yet a demon of envy does not kill whomever it replaces. It hides them away and learns about them. There must be a trail we can follow. Yet so far I have only discovered hints. But they could have ended up just like the Red Templars. Seekers do not use Lyrium. I assume Corypheus gained control of the Templars by corrupting the Lyrium they were already taking. To do the same to a Seeker, you'd have to force the Lyrium upon him. That may be what happened, but it couldn't have begun that way. We're missing a piece of the puzzle, Inquisitor. I need to find it. Finding them obviously means a lot to you. I left the Order, but I can never abandon them. I cannot even claim that rescuing them would be beneficial. They wouldn't look kindly on the Inquisition. But even so, if there's a chance... If we can spare resources to follow up on these leads, Inquisitor, I would appreciate it. not expecting it to spawn me at the war table. I'm pretty sure Cassandra has some more stuff to say to me. Maybe. Resources cannot Maybe not. be spared to help search for the missing seekers, Inquisitor. Still, it could involve a threat we are unaware of. There may be a use in looking. That's enough for now. Another time, then. It's good to see you. Is there anything I should know? I'd gotten used to mages disliking me on principle. Vivienne's views on Templars are surprisingly traditional. <laughs> what? I thought we already established this. I've never disliked you on principle. Oh. I noticed. <laughs> That's all for now. I'm sure you have other matters to attend to. Let's go to the western approach now. Oh no, we should probably go do the Dorian thing. And then we'll go to the western approach. Let's look around. Bull, how... We haven't even gone anywhere. How are you low on health? Unfair. Good day.
Oh, nobody's here. This doesn't bode well. Dorian. Father. So the whole story about the family retainer was just, what? A smokescreen? Then you were told. I apologize for the deception, Inquisitor. I never intended for you to be involved. Of course not. Magister Parvis couldn't come to Skyhold and be seen with the dread Inquisitor. What would people think? What is this exactly, Father? Ambush? Kidnapping? A warm family reunion? <sighs> this is how it has always been. You went through all of this to get Dorian here. Talk to him. Yes, Father. Talk to me. Let me hear how mystified you are by my anger. Dorian, there's no need to. I prefer the company of men. My father disapproves. That's a big concern in Tevinter, then. Only if you're trying to live up to an impossible standard. Every Tevinter family is intermarrying to distill the perfect maid, perfect body, perfect mind, the perfect leader. It means every perceived flaw, every aberration, is deviant and shameful. It must be hidden. I'll need you to explain that. Did I stutter? Men and the company thereof as in sex. Surely you've heard of it. This is not exactly news, Dorian. Why should it be? Why should anyone care? I have no idea. This display is uncalled for. No, it is called for. You called for it by luring me here. This is not what I wanted. I'm never what you wanted, Father. Or had you forgotten? So that's what all of this is about? Who you sleep with. That's not all it's about. Dorian, please. If you'll only listen to me. Why? So you can spout more convenient lies? He taught me to hate blood magic. The resort of the weak mind. Those are his words. But what was the first thing you did when your precious heir refused to play pretend for the rest of his life? You tried to change me. I only wanted what was best for you. You wanted the best for you? Your fucking legacy. Anything for that. Don't leave it like this, Dorian. You'll never forgive yourself. Tell me why you came. If I knew, I would drive you to the Inquisition. You didn't. I joined the Inquisition because it's the right thing to do. Once, I had a father who would have known that. Once, I had a son who trusted me. A trust I betrayed. I only wanted to talk to him, to hear his voice again, to ask him to forgive me.
says we're alike. Too much pride. Once I would have been overjoyed to hear him say that. Now I'm not certain. I don't know if I can forgive him. Are you all right? No, not really. Thank you for bringing me out there. It wasn't what I expected, but it's something. Maker knows what you must think of me now, after that whole display. I think you're very brave. Brave? It's not easy to abandon tradition and walk your own path. At any rate, time to drink myself into a stupor. It's been that sort of day. Join me sometime, if you've a mind. I don't know what you think you're doing. I'm being clucked at by a hen ever. Oh, I... What's going on here? It seems the revered mother is concerned about my undue influence over you. It is just concern. Your worship, you must know how this looks. You might need to spell it out, my dear. This man is of Tevinto. His presence at your side. The rumors alone. <laughs> What's wrong with him being from Tevinto? I've been taken by blood magic. I'm fully aware that not everyone from the Imperium is the same. How kind of you to notice. Yet still, you bow to the opinion of the masses. The opinion of the masses is based on centuries of evidence. What would you have me tell them? The truth? The truth is I do not know you, and neither do they. Thus, these rumors will continue. There's no cause for concern, your reverence. With all due respect, you underestimate the effect this man has on the people's good opinion. Do the people know how he's helped the Inquisition? I... see. I meant no disrespect, Inquisitor. Only to ask after this man's intentions. If you feel he is without ulterior motive, then I humbly beg forgiveness of you both. Well, that's something. This sort of thing happens often, does it? <laughs> More than anyone tells you. No one knows their own reputation. Until someone helpfully informs them. There is that. She meant well, if that's of any concern. I should ask, do the rumors bother you? Why should it bother me? Everyone's talking about the Inquisition. That's good. I'd hate to think I brought you any grief. Perhaps it's odd to say, but... I think of you as a friend, Inquisitor. I have precious few friends. I didn't think to find one here. I... Don't speak. I detest confessions. And I'd like to get this over with. Allow me to say I'll stand beside you. Against Corypheus, my countryman, or spurious rumor. So long as you'll have me. I should go. As you wish.
a new divine soon. One will make you stand up for us instead of protecting the one. It's the Grand Ball and the Winter Palace. Mister. I told you I was right not to sacrifice the Haven. Look what happened there. Welcome. I am more worried about who attacked them and why. Do you know where this noble wanted to meet us? I do. The Comte Boisvert has invited us to his mansion, not far from here. I pray he clears up the deaths of my messengers, as promised. Lead the way. Welcome, my friend. Thank you for seeing us, Comte Boisvert. The honor is mine. Please, sit. It's an honor to assist two such distinguished guests. We appreciate your help, Comte. The death of Lady Montilly's servants must weigh heavily on me. Have you heard of the House of Repose? The Assassin's League? My contacts obtained a copy of a document in the archives. Contract for life. The House of Repose is hereby sworn to eliminate anyone attempting to overturn the Montelier's trading exile in Orlais. Who's sending these assassins? The contract was signed by a noble family. The Du Paraquettes. But the Du Paraquettes died out as a noble line over 60 years ago. Indeed. But the contract was signed 109 years ago. How can a family try to kill you after they died out? The Du Paraquettes were our rivals. They drove the Montilliers from Val Royal. This contract was drawn up over a hundred years ago, but it wasn't invoked until I tried to overturn my family's exile. Unpleasant though it may be, the House of Repose is merely fulfilling its contractual duty. If the people who wanted your family dead are gone, why are the assassins still after you? A contract is a contract, Inquisitor. Orlesian businesses live and die by their reputations. The entire guild's welfare would be endangered if an agreement was tossed aside on a whim of time or fate. She's quite right, Your Worship. The House of Repose is doing what it feels necessary. By its standards. I assume you have a thought or two on this, Josephine. The Du Paraquettes still have descendants under the common branch. If we elevate them to nobility, a Du Paraquette could annul the contract on my life. Uh, that will take time, Lady Montigny. Time during which the House of Repose will be obliged to hunt you. Will they now? You are exceedingly well informed. Or not to have said you'd heard rumors. A bit of subterfuge. This contract on your life is an ugly business. One the House of Repose deeply regrets. But this is Orlais. Even an assassin's world is his bond. Does Comte Boisvert actually exist? Absolutely. The Comte's offer to reveal the killers of Lady Montilly's messengers was genuine. So was his information somehow. A end to be tied up later. I'm guessing the actual Comte Boisvert met with a fatal accident. Comte Boisvert slumbers in a nearby cluster. Nothing more. The contract on Lady Montilly's life is so unusual, we felt the courtesy of an explanation was in order. It is appreciated, monsieur. Your idea to seek out the Duparaquet to revoke our orders is uh, an interesting one. I wish you luck. I did not come to shed blood today, Inquisitor. Only to speak. Might I pass? 
Why warn us about your contract and let us go? In Orlais, it is only decent to inform those involved in a contract when extraordinary circumstances conspire. And the guild's reputation would suffer if you ignored the contract. I quite understand. Thank you, my lady. May we conclude with my departure? Go then. Good day, your worship. My lady, I pray we'd never meet again. Well, I didn't think our meeting would end like this. We'll deal with these assassins. I have some thoughts. Let's discuss them back at Skyhold. I'll feel safer with the cast of war around me. Do you hear something? Mm. Oh, goodness. Uh, Comte Poivre, is that you? Mm. Oh, the lock's been broken off. We'll find a saw. Mm. I realize the cabinet is quite valuable, Comte, but surely... A locksmith, then? Mm. Mm. As you wish. Let's speak to her real quick. Sister Liliana says the guests are on their way. The last inheritances are discovered, and soap is not a spring color. Good. Tell her we've prepared their best stateroom. The inheritors will be contacted, and yes, it absolutely is. I'm so sorry, Inquisitor. I never thought my family's trading status would trap us in an assassin's plot. You couldn't have known it would lead to this house of repose coming after you. It still shouldn't have slipped past me. I've tracked down the last two paraquets. If they become gentry, they can annul the contract on my life. We'll require a noble from Val Royal to sponsor them, a judge to provide documents, a minister to ratify them. It's too likely to take the longest course of action, even when your life is at stake. I assume you already know everything about this mess. There is a faster way, Josephine. The original contract on your life is in the vaults of the House of Repose. If my agents infiltrate it and destroy the original, the assassin will have no obligation to chase you. Liliana, please. I want no more bloodshed over a personal affair. Don't be so stubborn, Josie. How long will it take you to gather these favors in Val Royale? We can solve this without more deaths on either side. My people are ready, should you change your mind. I'll post a watch on our ambassador in case the House of Repose visits. I appreciate it, but I still believe elevating the Duparakets will solve this. First, we need to perform some favors in Barroyol. I'd be happy to discuss where we could begin. <laughs> 